I am already really sick of this thing. So, we're gonna get rid of it. It's 8 a.m. We're at McDo. Jed's leaving. It's yeah. early, bro. That's it's early right now for me. Put hot sauce with one hand, eat it with the other. It's all already in the burrito. Look at that, he put a hash brown in his burrito. And you fold it back up. Old school mix skillet. Bruh. Those question marks in our lives, like Jed's question mark with uh, Patricia. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure they're married. Yeah, she's married. She got a kid now? No, not yet. Are you recording? Yes. Cool. Showing up on YouTube. <laughs> It's going on YouTube. It's just a first and last name. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody's going to know who we're talking about <laughs> except unless us. Those people. That... <laughs> unless we talk about it or yeah, unless they make, watch my videos. Make sure you tag those people too. <laughs> oh, sure. You tag know, them. You know, Jed used to do jazz. Remember, it's jazz. It's not it ballet. It's jazz. He does practice. Yeah, even though he was in the Nutcracker, but that's not ballet either. <laughs> Dude, you broke the stereotype, dude. You helped lead the male yeah. dancer. Now look at your nephew. Can. Okay, so short story. When we were in high school, Jed was the first one to actually take dance lessons. And uh, he was like the first of us to actually like be publicly dancing. Before even us like as street dancers were performing, he was the one actually like doing it all. Yeah. I started, well, oh, 1998, but I mean... But that's still not, like, publicly cool. Well, I not mean, like, it's a public show, but you've been doing it forever. Yeah, did the Nutcracker. <laughs> you wear the you're the only. Pants. You're the only classically trained dancer <laughs> in the group. Yeah. And then I, I kind of I kind of helped book the mold when what I what? performed in the drill team, you know, one of the routines. You broke the mold on that one? Okay. Yeah. But remember, you, you were the only one. Yeah, I know. I'm saying that helped. <laughs> oh, you gotta, I helped. You do have to remember that uh, that Lowell and I yeah. also did the uh, men's drill team, which was like two guys. <laughs> hey. We all, we all contributed. <laughs> yeah. Part of a legacy. Yeah, and you remember the, the dial-up speed internet? Yeah. Sounds true. Download, oh. download video. Take a day to download this song. <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days, they don't know. Tomorrow. So I'm going to lunch with my niece Kyla. I haven't seen her since she's been home for vacation. It's important to share meals with your family. Rega uh, whether it be, you know, your nieces, nephews, cousins, aunts, uncles, any blood relatives, or the people that are closest to you that you would consider family. One thing that brings people together really is food. So <laughs> I'm really excited to just, you know, chow down and uh, have a meal with my niece and really just, you know, catch up because we haven't seen each other in a while. We're going over here to Jeremiah's and this is going to be a pretty good meal because I've been looking forward to this. And right after this meal, I'm going to go straight to work out. <laughs> or I'm going to run errands and then I'm going to go work out. How's it taste? It's pretty good. It's really good. I can I can taste pretty much all of it. The flavor is good. Mm -hmm. Uh, basil, rosemary. Chowder. I got this. Coffee. Oh, I'm gonna replace my headlights in the Tahoe right here. Uh, just the low beams, cause uh, yeah. I got pulled over the other day for him, so we're gonna fix them. Short screws. One pro tip is to make sure that you keep your screws near the area that you're going to be re-putting them in because you don't want to put the wrong bolts or anything in the wrong spot. They may fit, but they may not fit perfectly. Yeah, the hard part about having to do this for the Tahoe is that I have to take the grill off completely to even uh, to get to the to the bulbs so it's gonna be a minute my dad really 
taught me how to do all this stuff. Short story, when I was about 17 years old, I got my actual first car. Actually, it was two cars, but we turned it into one. It was a 90 and a 91 Subaru Legacy. Uh, the body was originally blue, but we had to strip a completely red Subaru for parts, especially the doors and the trunk and the interior. And so my dad really taught me how to take apart cars. He never really should, well, and he showed me how to fix cars. But uh, the biggest thing, my first experience in really working with cars was stripping a car down of its parts to be able to use it for another. It's kind of a cool skill that I learned from him. I don't know, my dad really liked working on cars apparently. He always was fixing them up, hoping that, may I think maybe at some point, cause we had Pontiac Fiero, we had like an old Mercedes, like uh, I think he had hopes that we wanted to get into cars too. Um, I mean, we're moderately into cars, but honestly, I just want a point A to point B, but I mean, I have a Chevy Tahoe, you guys. It's it's very point A to point B. I don't really go joyriding in this truck. It's a, it's a very much a family truck, if anything, so yeah. As you can see, I'm not as uh, full of finesse trying to get these, uh, these bolts out. It sucks, I have to take off this entire grill. FYI, car maintenance, any type of car stuff, is not just for dudes. I think it's really important for people to at least know baseline car maintenance, know how to change a tire, know how to change out your bulbs, know how to change your, well, you don't have to know how to change your oil, but you have to know what to do to change your oil, you know, what to do in an event if you ever get a flat, how to change a flat, um, all these things, uh, know how to, to put in your fluids and stuff. It's, these things I think are very baseline knowledge that people should, everybody should learn eventually. Because, if, especially if they're gonna drive a car, if you don't wanna get stranded, you don't wanna get stuck, like, not knowing this sort of thing. Comment below if you agree that, uh, you know, it's important to have at least a little bit of car knowledge if you ever drive a car. I know there are people who, like, never drive a car in their entire lives, but seriously. Let me know. One hour later. All right, it's the moment of truth. See if I actually installed these right. So let's find out. Uh. Oh, nice. Didn't too, too, do too bad for a DIY. I don't normally DIY, but pretty impressed with myself. Now I gotta screw it all back in. A few moments later. All that trouble and all that time for a dead bulb. Dead bulb. Let's see. Yeah. So if you can do it yourself, I would recommend doing any preventative maintenance on your car right away. Don't be like me, was, I was such a slacker <laughs> for the past year on uh, getting um, a couple things fixed, but I got it fixed today and I'm pretty happy. Hopefully tomorrow I can get my tires done. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready, I gotta shower up, get cleaned up, I'm gonna go to jujitsu today and go work out, so.